Dun, 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 dun. Hello, hello, it is Senna. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Senna Bon Bon, your resident DIYer at Flavor. Woo. Wow, it has been an eventful week, eventful week, guys. Thanks to the lovely Rika for sending over the raid. Hi! Okay, okay. Woo. Woo. Wow, I feel electric. Like my hands are all like clammy. My heart is racing. I don't know. I just get nervous every time. <laughs> okay, so what we have on the menu for today's stream is learning the difference of tools, how to use them, what they're for, what it's all about. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What a South American hottie. She sure is. She sure is. Make Cinna pantless again. Listen, YouTube has their regulations. It just happens. It just happens. Okay? Okay. Ah, <laughs> yes, the pit vipers. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Okay, everybody's in. All right, we're going to begin the PowerPoint teacher center, teacher center today, teacher center today. Okay. So, tools. Learn the difference. It could save your life. A guide by me, Cinna Bon Bon. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off really strong with hammers. <laughs> uh, so... There is going to be the common nail hammer, and of course it can be used on common nails, obvi, but it can be used on any nail. Then we're going to have the rip hammer and the finishing hammer. Okay? All right. Those are all pretty ha like pretty straightforward. All hammers, hammer and nails, bonk, bonk, bing, bong, all the stuff. Okay. Nails. This is where I need y'all to pay attention, okay? Okay. Drywall nails. This is a key difference from almost every other nail. Drywall nails have ridges to give it grip. Okay? So th the thought process is if the drywall nail is driven into the wall, that bugger ain't coming out. Not without a significant amount of, you know, luck. <laughs> Dumb luck at that. Uh, box nails. Cement coated box nails are a lot skinnier usually than the common nail. So a lot of times they're going to be coated to give it more grip, right? Okay, I'm going to move to the right side here. The finish nail. Now those are really tiny nails. You can use them for putting in a poster on your wall. A lot of times artists will use it um, in galleries to hang up their work. Uh, they're really tiny. That's the key, is that they're not going to distract your eye, whatever they're nailed into, right? So they're, they're great for that. Um, galvanized nail is going to be a common nail. That is galvanized stainless steel. It's just going to make it, you know, stronger for rust resistance. Um, it's used commonly outdoors. And then roofing nails... Um, those those are very different from common nail. They look very similar, I know, but the head is a lot wider, um, and it's just going to hold down that tile, the roofing tile or shingle, a little better. Okay, 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 okay. Hope you're not. Hope there's not a test. There's definitely a test, and yeah, I, I definitely would not recommend uh, licking the galvanized. Nailing the presentation. Thanks, thanks. You know what? Maybe I'll let you guys grade me at the end. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. So now from the nails, we're going to lead in two types of screwdrivers. Okay. So obviously screws will follow. So types of screwdrivers. There's the square, the hex, and the pentagon. These are shapes, guys. If I have to explain shapes, I'm going to start feeling really sorry for you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is a really good one. It's a great note. So the next one is going to be this slotted one. Um, just like a cute little rule of thumb, 
slotted, flathead, same shit. Okay? S same. Same. If someone goes, can you hand me a slotted nail? They mean flathead. And if someone goes, can you hand me a flathead nail? They, they mean slotted. It's the same. I don't know why there's two names. People make things exceedingly difficult. Next, the Phillips. The Phillips head is going to be one of, if not next to the slotted, the most common type of screw that you will see. Okay? Okay. Then we're going to see... Then we're going to see... The Oive nail. Moving right on into the Oive with a bullet. And the tri -wing. Then the spline, spanner, not even going to attempt. Hex socket and Allen. Never notice it's the same as a hex. Okay? Okay. Square recess. Obviously, it's a recessed square within the nail head. Uh, screw head. Sorry. <laughs> Clutch. More torque. Fearson. <laughs> Super drive. Poly drive. Double square. Okay? Because, once again, exceedingly difficult. Bristol. Don't know why England got in here. Torque set, one way, pentalobe. That's a flower. TP3 to tap. <laughs> to tap. And the triangle TA. Alright. Well, we got kosher nails. Full kosher. Full kosher. Okay. For these screws. Okay. You got your sheet metal screw. Okay, it's all in the name. Don't overcomplicate it this time. For once, they're keeping it simple for us, alright? Sheet metal screw. What does it go into? Yep. Yep. Wood metal screw. What does it go into? What wood? Yeah. Yeah. Masonry screw. Stone. Drywall screw. Drywall. And the ridges are going to be further apart on this drywall school screw, so it'll grip better to the drywall. Bro, my voice today is like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in school again. This is so scary. Okay, pre-quiz, guys. Do you know the name of this tool? I'll give you a minute. <laughs> do 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 All right, do we have the answers on the board? Yes, yes. It has to be a combination wrench. You're right. It has both on either side. Good job, good job. For the ones who got it wrong, disappointment, disappointment. <laughs> now for the wrenches. Are we ready? Are we ready to learn what wrenches are? Okay. Yeah, I thought so. All right, chain wrench. We're going to skip over that because that kind of looks like a special toy. Socked wrench allows you to change the socket to fit whatever size bolt you need. Must have for car owners, okay? Okay? If you ever get caught in a terrible, I mean, just <laughs> terrible terrible thunderstorm. I mean, the rain's just pouring. There's some water leaking through your floorboards and your windshield wiper is sticking straight up like a dead roach's leg. Socket wrench is great for tightening that bolt. Socket wrench is really great for tightening that bolt. <laughs> okay. Now, the adjustable wrench. Americans like to call it a crescent wrench. Yeah, yeah, so whenever your father goes, hand me the crescent wrench. It's this, you sillies. It's this. And this is my favorite wrench. You know why? 
because you, you roll this and it tightens around the nut and bolt and it's like a perfect fit, you know? Okay, cool. Pedal wrench. It's literally just for bike pedals. So, I mean, like, I don't know how many people will find this useful. I don't know, Vesper Noir. That's the only person I know who rides bikes as an adult. So, <laughs> ah, <laughs> I joke, I joke, I kid. Okay, this is the monkey wrench, all right? This big boy right here is going to be the older brother to adjustable wrench or the crescent. All right, this is for the big old nuts, you know? The big old nuts, yeah. Oh my God, that is just terrifyingly awful. Okay, <laughs> it's not a pipe wrench, even though they look similar to a pipe wrench. But a pipe wrench always has teeth for holding on to pipes. Okay, okay, combination wrench, is the same as a pe uh, an adjustable wrench, just beak. Oh, I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> okay, a torque wrench is a tool used to tighten nuts and bolts to a predetermined torque value. Okay, there's some big words, some big words. Okay, big words predetermined, all right? You're not gonna over tighten something. It's gonna be exactly what it needs to be tightened to, i.e. you're not wearing down the nut or bolt. Extremely important. You don't wanna strip things that are, are meant to hold things together. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. And then an armorer's wrench, special tool, very special tool for gunsmithing um you know gunsmithing we could talk about that some other time some other time okay some pliers all right locking pliers right here this is the key one all these other pliers are gonna do similar things okay slip joint tongue and groove needle nose this one's this guy's nice for small DIY projects or honestly even for bending metal wire. Uh, you know, if people enjoy making small crafted things with metal wires, this is your guy. This is your friend. These guys, great for locking onto other things. Once again, it's nuts and bolts and other big pieces of metal. Okay? The locking pliers are commonly called vice grips. Okay, so if someone says, hand me the vice grips, it's this guy, right here, doop doop. All right. <sighs> Tongue and groove, also called channel locks, all right, all right. These are the wire strippers. I mean, I think the name kind of gives it away. Okay, where's that marking plier? All right, linesman pliers are used to cut, straighten, and bend wires. Okay, this is like the big boy to this guy. He bends real wires, like the big, thick boys. Yeah. All right, fencing pliers can be used to cut wire and pull staples and pound nails. This is almost like a utility tool, right? Just... It's, it's utilization is pretty good. All right, all right. Imagine, <laughs> imagine not using your teeth to strip wires. Oh gosh, you guys, scary, scary stuff. Cutting pliers. I mean, I feel like once again, it's kind of redundant. It's in the name. Sometimes the tools are straightforward, and sometimes the tools are just like, what, what could that possibly be for? So. Wouldn't bolt cutters be a type of plier? You know, uh, I don't know. I would maybe put it in between a plier and like a type of shear. Like think large, large garden shears. Like I just feel like if it's so big, you have to use your both hands, you know, like it, it kind of falls outside of pliers. 
it's like in a little gray zone. All right. All right. Okay. Inspire your audience. You know, these manager notes, not living for it. All right, guys. I want you to act on the information you just learned. Okay? Build an idea. Build a bomb. Build a bomb. Build a bomb. Build a bomb. Depending on your idea. This can be anything from downloading an app to joining an organization. Any organization. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Who comes up with this stuff? All right. Now on to Saws. Now, Dr. Lalime or Lalame, however the heck, Citria, okay? Citria would love this beautiful bone saw. I know she would. She definitely would. Okay? All right. Then we got the cross cut saw, right? We're going to start at the top. Let me blah, 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 blah. Okay. This is the cross cut saw. Cuts across the wood grain, okay? Cut the, cut the, cut the, cut the, okay? This is a hacksaw. It's really great for cutting through metal. Um, a lot of these other ones are just going to be a little bit like me, 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 me. This is a rip cut saw. Cuts when you push away from you and leaves a rough edge, okay? Like a very rough edge. You're going to have to sand it afterwards more than likely. Okay. Now not pictured here is a hybrid saw. It cuts on push and pull. Unlike the Japanese saw that cuts when you pull it towards you. And unlike the cross cut or the rip saw that cuts when you push it away from you. Okay. Hybrid saws are honestly what I would recommend to any person starting out on a DIY. If they're doing something large that requires cutting into big pieces of wood, a hybrid saw is where you want to start. In all honesty, um, it's going to cut on push and pull. And so, you know, you're not just going to be hacking and <laughs> moving your arm rigorously <laughs> for nothing. Uh, a lot of people also recommend a back saw for um, beginners. Uh, it, it's mainly because obviously you see it's pretty flat. It's good to get a good handle on, but I would honestly recommend a good hybrid saw. Um, and then <laughs> a wall board saw. Any homeowner or person who just like lives in a home should probably own a wall board saw, in all honesty. Um, it can cut into most drywall. If you're like an apartment renter or you're renting, I would also recommend opening up one of your, uh, what is it, the outlets, yes, and cutting off like a small piece of painted drywall and taking that to your local paint shop and getting it paint matched. So when the time comes that you move out eventually, you will have a paint sample as well. So this this is a really great saw to just kind of have in your toolbox, in my opinion. Okay. And next to me, Mo. What is this called, guys? Do you know what this is? What is it? Hmm? What is it? Tell me. What is it? I, I'll wait. It's cool. I'll wait. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, finally, finally, it seems like some of you are smart. You <laughs> sniffle, sniffle. Hmm, are we done? Has everybody voted? All right, so the majority of you got it. Great job, guys. It is, in fact, a carpenter square. Um, it's it's basically used to make a perfect 90 degree angle, which I mean, like, cool, cool. 
it's great for like marking things and you know just making sure you have the straightest lines and making sure everything is exact uh, great for carpenters sometimes great for DIYers I mean if you're really into doing like wood based projects or like big projects I would definitely recommend having one um next ooh meme okay levels guys levels okay so whew, I don't know what it is but this gets me a little jazzed all right carpenter's level day it's similar to the torpedo level not exactly the same obviously um it's a lot bigger it's a good it's a good leveler it's a good leveler it's all right you got the post level and the angle levels and the circular level but then you got something special you got the laser level now i will say i will say they're a little pricey sometimes but it is well worth the price. First of all, light. <laughs> it's a laser. Hello. <laughs> but also, it's really good for just like perfect leveling. No, no chance of user error for the most part, right? The torpedo level, you got to like get the bubble just, just right. And honestly, if you're like me and your hands are like a little, little, little shaky, not great. Not great. This guy. Mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> All right. Whew. Wow. Out of breath. All right. So here are some must-haves in my humble opinion. Okay, my opinion. You don't trust laser levels? <laughs> must haves the measuring tape is a must have obviously if you're going to start any project you need to know what your measurements are going to be i mean i feel like that's basic right that's basic but it does bear being said you know you need to know if i'm going to build myself a desk and let's say i want to make an l-shaped desk do i want the l-shaped desk to be a perfect you know meet perfectly at the corner do I want a space in that corner for a lamp potentially like a floor lamp so you have to like make those measurements make them as precise as you possibly can to your wall um, you got to make sure you have the right space for this kind of stuff I mean you don't want to be there at Home Depot looking stupid right and being like oh my gosh I'm here to buy wood and they come and they ask you and they're like what's your measurements and you're like duh duh not a good look not a good look next is going to be your common hammer refer back to slide one okay well slide two technically the common hammer every single person needs to have a common hammer even if you're not doing diy like you just you need to own a hammer you really do screwdriver set I, honestly, I recommend every single person to own at least one Phillips head and one flat head screwdriver, but a small mini screwdriver set is also going to be great for, you know, removing the screws on the back of your switch, removing the screws on a PC to build a PC. You need those small screwdriver set to build oh, so many things. Um, what I will say to most people is if you don't want to buy both screwdrivers of a flathead and a phillips head a flathead can work in a pinch but the issue is is that when you are screwing in a you know phillips head screw with a flathead screwdriver you have the potential of stripping your screw it's just it's just business okay so you'll want both next is a needle nose plier I can't even begin to count the amount of times these pliers have saved my butt in ways that I just did not expect. Like, oh, I dropped my credit card in the tiny slot between my seat and my center console. Oh my gosh, I have a needle nose plier in my car. Awesome. Okay. So good. So freaking good. All right. 
yeah. Next is Vice Grips. This is, this is, this is elementary, guys. This is elementary. Alright, next you need a socket set. You can get a really cheap one. A lot of times, old, old people are selling them at their garage sales every freaking summer. Okay? Even in major cities, there's always going to be someone on the brink of death selling it out of their garage. Okay? So if you're tight on a budget, go for a dive. A, a good socket set. Okay? It can help you in the house. It can help you with your vehicle. It can help you <laughs> with so many things. Okay? Next is a crescent wrench. All right, we did learn what a crescent wrench was today. I hope that sticks with you. Crescent wrench is super duper 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 important, okay? You don't have to have a million different wrenches and a million different sizes. A good crescent wrench will usually be just okay. And a level. If you don't wanna spin the coin on a laser level, you could still have a regular level and it'll still get the job done. Um, you know, I, I think outside of the general must-haves, in my opinion, I think a good cloth ruler is a great thing to have. These are for things that, like, are just kind of not a rigid measurement. It's, like, soft, like, fabric or, <laughs> shoot, measuring your own freaking arm or God knows what else. A cloth ruler is helpful for that, right? Um... I think certain things that you definitely do not need is going to be like that stupid circumference needle. You don't need it. I mean, you could honestly tie a string to something pointy, poke it in a piece of paper, and tie the other side of the string to a pencil, and you can make a perfect circle. It, it, like, you know, DIY it. If you learn nothing from me, at least take away the DIY side of things, okay? Another great tool to have is going to be a flashlight. I know that that doesn't seem like a tool, but I think it definitely should have been added in, manager son. <laughs> a flashlight is going to be really, really integral for looking into the small crevices of, you know, fixing something. Um, if you're working in a dark or poorly lit area, like I sometimes have to work in my garage for things, like I'm going to need a flashlight, right? cool um if you really get heavily into DIY I <laughs> I definitely have to recommend a table saw I just think that they're so handy and then um a good like you know couple pieces of good sandpaper high quality like sandpaper is great to have on hand for you know just like refinishing dressers and tables and things like that I know with me like I love love buying furniture used and repurposing them or refinishing them or doing fun things with them or replacing the legs or taking legs off completely and I just you know <clears throat> excuse me it's just it's good Good stuff. Quality stuff. Okay? Okay. All right. Now we are going to move on to the question portion of things as I have essentially finished up. This is much helpful things. Oh, yeah. I agree. A pocket knife is a super helpful tool. But I kind of put it in between a tool and a weapon. You know? Like, I feel like... I never feel like I've seen anyone have to whip out a pocket knife as a weapon. But, like, in my mind, it's like, oh weapon right because it requires a level of care and responsibility that like a measuring tape wouldn't you know okay if the cops ask it's a tool <laughs> can't any tool be used as a weapon I mean yeah definitely definitely I mean have you ever been snapped with a measuring tape that hurts <laughs> foldable razor knife is better at that point, you might as well just use a box cutter, guys. So, Zasto knife is more of a tool. Yeah, I mean, I would be pretty embarrassed to die from an X-Acto knife, for sure. <laughs> um, anyways, class, do 
Do we have any questions? Any questions? Questionings? On there? <laughs> Flashlights are basically clubs. Yeah, definitely. Is mayonnaise a tool? Um, no. I'm so sorry. Is there any reason you didn't bring up the Robertson head for the screwdriver set? Um, no. Just kind of slipped. Slipped. Is it safe to drink WD-40? No, it's also like not a liquid until you spray it out. So I think that should tell you all you need to know. What are your absolute favorite tools? <laughs> okay, my favorite tools are gonna be a hammer, a crescent wrench, um, a thumbtack, honestly, and a pencil. Yeah. What DIY stuff have I made? You know, honestly, I feel like I should probably post some pictures. If if that works for you guys, I will definitely post some pictures of some of the DIYs I've done. <laughs> what tools to get a synergy? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, hold on. Hold your questions. Uh, I do have a pop quiz for you guys. All right. What nail? Is the ribbed nail? It's going up in the chat. It's going to be pulled. Okay. All right, guys, everybody answer, 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 answer. <laughs> you don't even know what ribbed means? Wow, were you even here at the beginning? All right, it looks like you guys got a D in it. <laughs> It is, in fact, a drywall nail. You think just because we're men, we don't pay attention. I never said that. Never did I say that. <laughs> I failed. Obviously, I need to come to more streams. I mean, I'll be here Friday and Saturday, guys. Like I said last stream, so long as it's fun. And it is. Okay. Let's let's get another question out there for you guys. Let's see, let's see. My half brain made me lose. Yeah, my half brain makes me lose too. <laughs> Brand preferences. Um it's going to have to be Milwaukee. I just I like Milwaukee as a brand. Which is weird, because red's definitely not even close to my favorite color. Well, I guess orange is close to red. And orange is definitely my favorite color. <laughs> but I do like Milwaukee as a brand. Power Tools is the next stream. Uh, no, I believe it's either Karaoke, Karaoke, or um, Paper Mario. I don't remember how I ordered it. I just knew I wanted to do both this weekend, because it sounded fun. So... <laughs> Wisconsin Senna. No, I've never been to Wisconsin. I've driven through a lot of like flyover states, but I've never driven to Wisconsin. Yeah. Well, I'd be doing sea shanties. You know, I'll probably end up doing a poll for some of the uh, set list. Uh, I just, I'm not sure. Doing anything fun for Thanksgiving. I am cooking the entirety of Thanksgiving. I'm hosting some of my siblings, so. <laughs> All right, so the next question is, what is the armorer's wrench for? Posted, posted, vote, vote guys.
Wisconsin has some pretty places such as North Shore. I believe you. I believe you. I feel like, you know, the U.S. has a lot to offer in terms of regions and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of states that have a lot to offer. I mean, shoot, look at Nevada. You've got the desert down south and all the mountains and lakes up north. I mean, it's just a beautiful country. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Surely it's Gundam. <laughs> it is, in fact, for guns. I mean, it's kind of in the name, Armor. Yeah. It's, it's a little on the nose. I mean, sometimes when you name something, you're a little on the nose about it. And then sometimes you're like, meh. Meh, 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 meh. Nice percentage. <sighs> Guys. I thought... I thought we were better than this. <laughs> oh man, any more questions? I know. I I thought I thought I could BS my PowerPoint a little longer, but I'm a little rusty. I used to be able to make like 10 slides into like 2 hours when I was in school, but man, and it really I could feel the heat. It was like crawling up my neck. I was like, "Oh god." A bolt had snapped off in my chair and is now partially stuck. How do I get it out? Ooh, that's a goodie. A bolt had snapped off in my chair. Honestly, well, I guess the question is, what kind of chair? Are we talking about a chair that swivels, goes up and down, or is it going to be, you know, just your regular sit-down chair? Rusty, spray some WD-40 on it. All right, guys. Next question. What is Dr. Lalame's favorite type of saw? How wide is the bolt? Great question, Millardo. Computer chair that goes into wood. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to have to think about that, Joe. Give me a sec. Okay. All right, guys. You are unfortunately wrong. You're unfortunately wrong. It's a coping saw. Citria is high on copium. High, high, high on copium. Have you seen her tweets? <laughs> Am I allowed to call Home Depot the homeless death spot if anyone catches that reference? <sighs> Whoosh, sorry. I knew it was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use the tweeter. You know, I didn't use the tweeter until I became Cinnabon Bun. I was birthed not too long ago. I'm pretty new here. I have seen the Discord full. She's pure coping. Yes. Just super duper high on the copium. Bonsa was ready. What's the sharpest tool in the shed? Not me. Not me, brother. One of your friends works at Home Depot for real, for real. Do they like it? Do they smell the wood? Are they huffing the paint? Do they get to do the paint mixer job? Ugh, that seems like a dream job. <laughs> we have a Discord. Yes, we have a Discord. Get with the program. Bingo panic. A.E. is one of the cool Canadians. We're not counting Ryan? No Gosling? Wow. <laughs> wow. My brother used to work at Home Depot. He hated it. I mean, unfortunately, Home Depot is still retail. So I can imagine why he hated it. I mean, it's it's retail. 
yes, it is <laughs> amongst amazing things, but it is still retail. And people still suck. <laughs> the Discord link is dead on the website. Ah, oh, I guess we'll have to post it. I'll get on to it. I'll get on to flavor for you guys. Okay. Next question. What's your favorite tool brand? There's only one correct answer. What about Ryan Reynolds? He's too pretty boy for me. I'm sorry. Used to work at Home Depot. People suck. Yeah. Yeah. Nippon. Let's see. Let's see if you get it right. Milwaukee! Let's go out! Yes. <laughs> she isn't into pretty boy. <laughs> what about Trudeau? What about Trudeau? Hmm? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I only brought <laughs> knockoff products. Look, honestly, if you don't got the coin, I get it. Definitely in the broke crowd. I just saved up for things I like. Sorry. <laughs> My favorite tools are the ones I have. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Do we have a chance then? You know, let's keep it a guessing game, okay? <laughs> All I'll say about Trudeau is this Minecraft. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> anything can be a tool if you try hard enough. My favorite tools are my teeth and toenails, not your toe. <laughs> no, I strong agree on the teeth part, though. I mean, like, any plastic wrapper I come across, I just, teeth first people get mad they're like just use your fingers and I have tiny little baby fingers so teeth <laughs> got some nice sh sharp canines that's what they're there for I'm, I'm a I'm a carnivore <laughs> every tool has a hammer Trudeau was very passionate about his cosplay. Okay, okay, enough with the Canada dad. Teeth, best for separating Lego. <laughs> Honestly, maybe I grew up with too many siblings, but I would just never put a Lego in my mouth. <laughs> just never. <laughs> Isn't Trudeau Minna's husband? Listen, listen. I don't know who Mena's husband is. I don't even feel like that was the real Mena. I don't know. Guess you guys will find out. Guess you guys will find out. Yeah. Ah, uh, da, da, da. The meal. Carnivores eat meat, not plastic. I didn't say I ate the plastic. Come on. Think think with that little brain man <laughs> false prophet <laughs> listen Mena unfortunately unfortunately has been left open source so I don't I don't know mother set it up in such a way that Mena has you know the most alluring and elusive design and so so many people grift and try to become what they cannot be is that cryptic enough for you guys <laughs> background music too loud i don't have any i have none i mean if you hear stuff in the background it's probably it's probably honestly whatever's going on in the back work shed sorry Missina has the most alluring design. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mm. 
Okay, next question. Pliers that you can hammer a nail with. All right, what is the plier you can hammer a nail with? You hear crickets for sure. Me, me, me. Y'all know I'm rural. <laughs> of course you hear crickets today. Although I'd be concerned if crickets were out right now. I feel like they'd freeze over. None of them. Because you hammer with a hammer. Right to? Right job. No. <laughs> Get with the joke, dude. Am I the only one with a few Hot Wheels on my toolbox? <laughs> All of them, if you hit them hard enough. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it was in fact fencing pliers 50 of you got it right that's an F I hammer only <laughs> using ears of corn so you only hammer things in the spring and the fall you hammer with teeth. Nah. I mean, two of them aren't even pliers. I exactly. I tried to make it easy. I tried. Mic moment. Yeah, yeah. Great on a curve. <laughs> no, no. I'm not a nice professor. <laughs> You've used a cell phone as a hammer before. Oh. Oh. How's that rage, buddy? How's that rage? I have a hundred percent A plus, I'll have you know. Cope. <laughs> Every time the audio cuts, I just imagine you screaming your lungs out. No, I'm drinking water. The issue is, is I like to chug water and I don't like taking little tiny sippy sips, so. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure no one wants to hear like, glug, glug, glug. like I just, yeah, that's not, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Your granddad said you have sissy hands? What a prick. Don't smash your phone, please. Yeah, please don't smash your phone. They're like a thousand dollars nowadays. <laughs> you once broke a hammer. How do you break a hammer? <sighs> At least he was honest. <laughs> Water chugging ASMR win. <laughs> Ah, never. I feel like that's just... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Senna, how much does your phone cost? Um, I think I actually just finished paying it off through my phone plan recently. I'm pretty sure it was like an 800 range. I got the cheapest one available to me, but was still like a smartphone because apps are addictive. <laughs> Leatherman, a good set of many tools for your pocket or useless junk. Mm, I don't, I'm not sure. A lot of my mini tools are not like heavily branded. I just feel like if it's mini, it'll work. Have I ever done wood turning? No, I haven't. What I consider a DeWalt Milwaukee radio a tool. Um, I feel like the only radio that counts as a tool is a ham radio. Or like a police scanner. I, you know, a tool. Uh, in which way you'll use it. I don't know. Whatever. However you want. Are there any DIY apps I recommend? Honestly. Honestly, I recommend YouTube. Or God. TikTok. <laughs> because it just is good for ideas. Otherwise, I feel like. For basic like skill sets and how to use certain tools, YouTube is really great for that. 
DIY phone win. <laughs> oh my gosh, when is it going to sink in? I'm not that smart. What I consider an AK a tool. A tool for death, yes. A tool for fun, yes. <laughs> but actually a tool, um, I don't know. I feel like guns also fall into the same category as knives and pocket knives, where they're both a tool and a weapon. No more Pinterest. Honestly, I feel like Pinterest has moved towards like fashion and aesthetics. TikTok and my nutty. Just a tad. Just a tad. I love using it for like recipes and stuff, to be honest. I also love watching the cooking videos. So, like I said, I'm addicted. If you're good, you can drive a nail with an AK. I mean, potentially. But I also feel like sparks fly. <laughs> Favorite gun. Oh my gosh, please don't judge. But I <laughs> I really like a lever action <laughs> twenty two rifle. I'm very basic. I I like twenty two rifles. Um they just I like uh I like the older models where you can load the bullet through um the the pipe shoot oh my god words are escaping me but 22s are fun and cheap exactly i mean a 22 ri a rifle is great a 22 handgun is also fun um it has like little to no kickback whatsoever which is like really good for um most women and some weak men <laughs> as a as a pistol <laughs> i love tw i love 22s i do um uh, I also like the M1 Grand. I, li I like shooting that. Um, shotguns are not my favorite to shoot. I have a I have a bad shoulder, so that's probably not my favorite one. I do shoot left-handed. I am technically right-handed, but I do sh shoot left. It just feels more comfortable. So, yeah, <laughs> I've shot a Grand. Yep. I have. I've also shot semis and autos, full autos. So I've I've gotten to do a lot of different shooting. I did a trip to Vegas and did some desert shooting with um, a group of girls. <laughs> God, <laughs> I feel like I'm revealing too much. <laughs> a group of girls from um, this church group I grew up in. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely like shooting. I'm a decent enough shot. I mean, I did get a deer. But, um, you know, I'm not... Yeah, I was a group of girls. That, I mean, church girls definitely like to shoot. Sorry to uh, surprise you. <laughs> a gun Tony Christian. Oh, God. <laughs> Waco kind? No, no. I mean... It was a branch of, of Baptist that I grew up in. Yeah. So I don't know if I personally still like subscribe to the ideology, but I do have my own separate stuff. I won't get into it too much. I don't want to ruin the, I don't want to break the fourth wall too much, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I enjoy shooting, um, I enjoy hunting, I think I want to try doing the rabbit season this year, um, but I gotta find someone who has some gun-trained dogs that we can hunt with, uh, that's kind of harder to come by, not a lot of people still train their dogs for that, so, yeah, <laughs> hunting homeless, oh no, <laughs> Rabbit season. <laughs> I mean, listen, listen. Have you ever gotten to feel a bunny's fur? So soft. They're great for decorating. I love bunny pelts. Like, put it on top of a a, a nightstand, and now you dress it up. You're living like a king. You know? <laughs> I'm not killing mom. You don't want to kill an old rabbit. They don't have good meat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> Aren't I half bunny? Listen. Listen. 
I may or may not condone cannibalism. <laughs> Hag hate. <laughs> Who is better, Bunny, Pippa or Bugs from Wabbit Season? Pippa. Listen, Bugs Bunny. I don't know. Bugs Bunny is now owned by a corpo libtard trash. I. Pippa is not, so. <laughs> do without what you will. <laughs> Rabbits do eat their young. Oh no! <laughs> I've got to keep the eyes in the back of my head constantly on. <laughs> uh. I usually hang a rabbit's entire corpse like you don't taxidermy it or anything. <laughs> um, my goal for next hunting season is to get a bigger buck. The issue in this area is that like a lot of times <laughs> the bucks are quite small because the area I live in is pretty over hunted. Like everybody loves to get a, a deer for their freezer for the season. It usually lasts them almost all the way till next year. So, I mean, he's he was definitely young. <laughs> I don't think I have seen a 10-pointer in this area uh, ever since living here. So, if that gives any indication of just, like, how overhunted it is. So. Ah. <sighs> The DNR needs to cut back on the tax. Listen, I I would agree, but I I understand people needing like meat, especially with the price of groceries for a lot of the people up here. It's just like poor. <laughs> so, have I ever hunted with dynamite? Um, no. Um, the only like explosives I've gotten to like play around or tinker around with is obviously like fireworks everybody has but um also shooting shoot what is the freaking name of it oh my god oh this is gonna bug me you shoot it from a far away enough distance and it usually lets off like a big pop and then smoke sometimes it's colored oh someone please know the name of this holy crap Tannerite, thank you. Oh my god, I'm like, what is it? It's a tea, it's a tea. <laughs> okay, all right, guys, we're gonna be wrapping up here soon. So, here's the last and final question What was the wrench in our first quiz? Uh, I'll sing it out for you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Double the points. Double the points. Double the money. <laughs> I expect an A here, chat. I do too. <laughs> Bet it all! Bet it all! <laughs> okay. You guys got it right. But it was still a 54. <laughs> oh, guys. Pipe wrench? Are you kidding me? It wasn't even on the slide. Wow. Wow. Okay, guys. We'll be wrapping up here soon. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your continued support on Flavor. I definitely look forward to interacting with you guys more. Um, I think chat interaction is definitely becoming one of my favorites. No, you cannot bribe me for a better grade. Sorry. <laughs> don't die. I don't plan on dying. Like I've said in the previous uh, stream, I'm as long as I'm having fun, I'm here. And I'm having a lot of fun. You guys keep it fun. So thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if, if the karaoke stream goes well, I may do a cover. Not to spoil, but... <laughs> um, do I plan on making edited content? I'm not sure. 
uh, it's all still pretty new to me, if I'm honest, so I'm still trying to get the reins on things. I am working feverishly at my um, rigging in Live 2D. Definitely struggling on the eyes a little bit, if I'm honest. <laughs> I had to redo the face. Um, I took note from you guys your critiques were very valid i wanted to make it as close to the original ar as i could um trying to keep it a handle with you guys and make sure you guys are pleased Whew. yeah cotton eye joke cover <laughs> honestly maybe i'm a, a true capitalist i am i i love i love her content um i don't think I don't think I laugh as hard to just about anybody else's streams. She's so funny. And um, I also just never thought I'd find another woman <laughs> who had similar like ideology to mine. So it's definitely really cool. Definitely really cool to know that someone's out there who's like me. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else can be said? What else can be said? Um, be prepared to be rated. So stick around. Peace. Um, pee, 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 pee. <laughs> I don't think I can do it the right way that she does it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a lot of people love. A lot of respect. I know a couple of people are asking about um, a collab. I can honestly say, unless she reaches out to me personally, I won't collab with her. I just, I would never want to grift on her like that. You know, she's done a lot to get where she's at. So I, I don't, it's just not, <laughs> it's just not who I am. I, I have too much respect. <laughs> All right. Bye. -bye.